they be cramping my style all week. Craving chocolate trees, checking pants, checking seeds, sipping herbal tea, and fight for menstrual equity. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Hey, hey, I get cramps at. Get cramps at. tuned in to the Kick Cramps Ass Podcast with your host, Brittany Walker, advocating for menstrual equity, period poverty, and womb wellness. New episodes on Menstruation Mondays. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode seven of Kick Cramps Ass, the podcast season two, where today's episode is Guts Health Relationship with Womb Wellness. So we're going to be discussing Minority Health Month, Alcohol Awareness Month, as April are the, um, those awareness dates are for the month of April. All right, guys. So happy Menstruation Monday. It is Monday, April 22nd, 2024. And we're going to go ahead and kick off today's episode with the I Am Power Statement, what I represents, I'm sorry, where I represents inspiration, A represents affirmation, and M represents manifestation. And today's I am power statement is I am recognizing the importance of gut health and how it impacts other wellness components, including womb health. Ashe. Now the quote of the day is wellness is a connection of paths, knowledge, and action. Joshua Holtz. So let's just think about it. It comes with shifting your mind and then applying action, which is two factors that we have been advocating and educating on since the genesis of our podcast. All right, guys. So as always, we're sipping on our good old tea of the day, which happens to be our bestseller, Cramp Elixir. And we're going to go ahead and take a quick break and we'll be right back with you so we can go ahead and get started with today's episode. Have you tried our best seller, the Cramp Elixir? It's our herbal tea blend designed to reduce and eliminate menstrual cramps, PMS symptoms, and other uterine health issues that are hindering your day-to-day -day progress. Our elixir may decrease inflammation, reduce stress and anxiety, regulate blood flow, balance your mood, and it can kick cramps ass. It includes a variety of herbs including hibiscus, red raspberry leaf, calendula, motherwort, awashaganda, plus more. Head over to kickcrampsass.org and grab yours today. Now, back to the show. Welcome back. So, let's get into today's episode. We are going to be discussing Hack Your Health the Secrets of Your Gut. Now, this is a new documentary that's premiering on Netflix this Friday, April 26, 2024. And the purpose of this documentary is that it demystifies the role of gut health and what it plays in our overall well-being. We've been talking to you guys how important it is to detox the body, how the gut stores primarily all the diseases that come into your body, because of course, why? what we're eating, what we're drinking, what we're putting in and on our body, which is our toiletries and our household products, those items are being digested and absorbed in the gut. And whatever is not uh, digested and absorbed is causing disease in the body. That's causing the stubborn visceral fat on your belly that might be getting out of line or that might be getting on your nerves. We also have the opportunity for... Um, clogged arteries, um, unwanted mucus, toxins and chemicals that build up that actually, like we stated, clog the arteries, which leads to heart disease. The visceral fat and those unwanted toxins in the body can lead to diabetes. And then in turn, as these um, toxins continue to grow and fester in the body, five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years, they can progress to even more um, terminating chronic illnesses such as cancer, Alzheimer's. So these are things that we want to be mindful of. But in regards to our podcast and our organization, we know that your gut health is extremely important and associated with your womb wellness. All right, guys. So this documentary also sheds light on how gut impacts our health and 
fitness. So what can you expect from this documentary? Now, it's supposed to be educational and exciting, so it's going to be um, a bit of a comical approach, but it's also going to be a tantalizing experience for you to learn truly what's going on with gut health. If you watch the trailer of the documentary, you see people talk about like, why am I unable to lose weight? Why am I having these health issues? Why am I dealing with all of these problems? Um, and if they feel like it's unfair, they feel like they're struggling, they're not knowing where it's coming from, not realizing that it is coming from the foods and beverages products that you are using and putting in and on your body. Now, it's also going to simplify complex scientific concepts into consumable information. So I know throughout this season so far, we've been talking about research and um studies that you can go check out on your own. Sometimes that can be a bit complex. Sometimes you feel like that might be too much jargon. Just go straight to the point. Tell me what it is that I need to do. So you can expect that out of this documentary. All right, guys. Now it also offers the opportunity for anyone to understand the information regardless of your background in health and science. Again, you don't have to be a scientist to understand this, a professor or somebody that just loves to consume a lot of information at one time. This, this is for any person that's able just to sit and comprehend what is going to be told to them. So we're going to definitely want to take a look at this documentary as it is going to be beneficial for us. Now, we'll also highlight diagnosis that are derived from the gut, including but not limited to autism, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's disease. Now, some of these diagnoses you might have thought, how does how is that associated with gut health? How is this even associated with food? How is this even associated with what we're putting in our body, whether that's medication, the household products you're using, your personal toiletries or hygiene products, but all of these items play a factor. We have um, educate it and try to encourage and empower you the importance of reading your labels, turning your labels over and reading the ingredients that are inside of these items. And if there are ingredients that you do not recognize, we highly encourage you to look these ingredients up, see what they are, see what they do to the body. And if you put so much of it into your body, what can that lead to? All right, guys. Now, how we mention the importance of reading your food labels because the advertising of the front of the package may say one thing, such as high in fiber. And this documentary will point that out. You might see certain cereals that are saying, ooh, they're good for heart health, they're low in cholesterol, but the label reflects no actual whole nutrients. So the front of the box is selling you on what to get. And most people are just reading the front and throwing it into their basket and not paying attention to that if they actually read the label on the back or on the side of the package that you could truly determine the nutrients that is putting in and on your body and the ingredients that are included. Now, the theory of Western diets and pharmaceuticals could be negatively hindering our health. And that is what this um, documentary is going to shed more light on. We have discussed with you guys that after we were able to reverse our chronic illnesses and make applicable lifestyle changes, we no longer have to take medication. We no longer put anything in our body that has harmful chemicals or toxins that can either bring back the diagnoses that we had beforehand or add additional diagnosis to our body. Now, understanding the variances in what makes the body makeup different from everyone is your unique microbiome. And microbiome is so important for the gut. Everybody has their own unique and we want to discuss that more in this documentary. All right, guys. So we're just going to take a quick break and we'll be right back to give more information on gut health and its association with wound wellness. Now, navigating to our resource center, we want to give you guys access to all these complimentary resources that we have available for you. We have our blog, book suggestions, our menstrual blood chart, exercise moves to kick cramps ass. We have recipes. We have reports. We have research studies that helps to prove how holistic approaches assist with achieving more wellness. We have wellness tips, wellness referrals, so business organizations and individuals that we would like to refer to you that are our strategic partners, wound terminology, 
maybe there's some options that you're not aware of. This can help you out. And lastly, yoga moves to help you kick crap's ass. Feel free to take advantage of this complimentary resource. All right, guys, now back to the show. Welcome back to the show, guys. Now, according to HelloClue.com, did you know the hormones that regulate your menstrual cycle are influenced by your gut? Now, you know that we were bringing up this documentary for a reason. Of course, it's associated with your menstrual cycle, gut health. So let's get into it. Now, your intestinal bacteria and their genes called the microbium have so many important functions for your body that some scientists refer to it as the virtual organ. All right, guys. Now, Dr. Jolene Brighton believes that your gut health and microbial diversity affect how well your gut excretes or recirculates estrogen. Hmm. Now, you know, estrogen and the amount that we put in our body is extremely important, and we don't want to put an influx of bad estrogen, which could lead to the uterine ailments that we may experience, including inflammation and bloating during your cycle, maybe nausea, and the onset of fibroids, endometriosis, and PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. Now, an imbalanced gut microbium, known as dysbiosis, can be directly linked to hormonal imbalances. Now, food moves more slowly through the intestines when estrogen levels are high, which may result in uncomfortable bloating and constipation during the cycle. So guys, we're starting to see how gut health can truly not just affect the overall body, but how it can affect the womb. So this is something that we want you guys to sit on think about, and maybe take a gander at this Netflix special that's going to be coming out later this week. All right, so let's move on to another quick subject. Now, it is Alcohol Awareness Month in the month of April, and for 2024, we've been having a Mocktail Monday Challenge, encouraging you to put down the alcohol because a little less alcohol doesn't hurt anybody. All right, guys, now We've been um, releasing these mocktail recipes on our social media accounts, and they are listed in the resource center under the recipe section on our website at kickcrampsass.org. And we'll include information about our resource center throughout this episode and in the description of this episode. So our most recent mocktail recipe that we came up with was a virgin mango pina colada. Now, I came up with this idea because of my spouse. She loves pina coladas, the virgin type, of course, because we don't drink any alcohol because it has been conducive to having a really healthy menstrual cycle journey. All right, guys. So she loves pina coladas, but I like to incorporate other fruits or just spice it up and make it our own version. So adding mango, give it that little Caribbean or that extra fruity flavor. So two cups of pineapple dice, one cup mango dice, one can of coconut milk, so that's the 13.5 fluid ounces can. One cup of fresh squeezed orange juice, not from concentrate, fresh squeeze. One lime squeeze, and if you can get your hands on a key lime, that's even better. And then an eighth a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth a teaspoon of allspice, and an eighth a teaspoon of nutmeg. So what we would do is place all the ingredients except for those last three spices, the cinnamon, the allspice, and the nutmeg, in a blender, and we'll mix thoroughly. We would then pour that over, or, I'm sorry, we would then pour that over ice and then garnish with those spices. And that is your version of a virgin mango pina colada. Now this recipe makes three cups and that cup is eight ounces a piece. So you can immediately pour it over ice. If you would like, you can put it in the refrigerator so it can get more chill. Or if you want to use frozen pineapples or frozen mangoes so it gives it that icy appeal, it will go ahead and make it a frozen beverage for you. All right, guys. So with summer approaching, it's starting to heat up. Why wouldn't we want to be cooled and refreshed? Let's get chilled with this mocktail recipe. Now, again, we will make sure that you have access to this recipe in the description of this episode. So let's go ahead and recap, guys. It's a very quick and short episode for season two, episode seven, but we want you to watch 
um, Hack Your Health, The Secrets of Your Gut. It is the new documentary that we just mentioned that's premiering on Netflix this Friday, April 26th. And we want you to monitor and protect your gut health. Start paying attention to what you're truly putting in and on your body. Start making the healthy habit of reading your labels. If you're going out to eat and you're unsure about something, asking your waiter um, for more clarification on what's on the menu. And if that waiter doesn't know what's in the um, food item, they're able to go back to the kitchen and talk to the cooks, the chefs, or somebody to ensure that there's no dairy, no meat, no added um, toxins or chemicals that align with what could be hindering your body, all right? And it's not that you need to know exactly what's in the recipe so they don't have to give up their in, their special recipe or their secret recipe, but you are able to ensure that you're not consuming like dairy, soy, or any type of allergen that will negatively impact your room, all right, guys? And then lastly, less alcohol again does not hurt anybody. So indulge in our mocktail recipes. Let us know what you think about them. And for news announcements and events, we are rapidly approaching May, and May happens to be menstruation month. We also have menstrual hygiene day, which is on May 28th. We have a Pilates day in May that we want to highlight, um, and it is minority mental Health Awareness Month. So we're gearing up for the month of May and we're going to be bringing you guys so many different resources, tools, and recommendations. We're also going to be having some challenges where you have an opportunity to read, uh, to win free products and services. All right, guys. So we are still accepting listener mail this season. Feel free to comment on this episode. Let us know what you think. If you would like to have a more personal experience, feel free to email us at contact at kickcramsass.org. You also can sign up on our website for a complimentary consultation for menstrual therapy, where we can sit down and start developing your personal plan of action. All right, guys. Now, be sure to like the podcast, um, subscribe to our website where you can keep up with the latest news, events, and resources. All right, guys, by um, liking this podcast, be sure to comment on it, share it with somebody that you feel they can resonate, or feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which has additional resources that will be beneficial in achieving optimal wound wellness. All right, guys, if there's not anything else, we want to send gratitude to all of you for tuning in, and we want to manifest a positive, productive, and peaceful remainder of the week and a menstrual journey ahead. If there's not anything else, guys, we'll be speaking to you next Monday. Peace.